40% of men have erectile dysfunction after age of 40. It happens due to decreased testosterone level over time and it is called andropause. Andropause is not literal analog or is not direct analog of menopause. Menopause happens in women and during menopause women lose the ability of reproduction. That's the main point. In both cases, andropause in men and menopause in women happens decrease sex hormones. In case of men, it's testosterone and in case of women, it's estrogens. But main difference is that in case of men, decrease of testosterone happens gradually. It's gradual process. It's not abrupt and it's not strong process. It's gradual process. And men have symptom during andropause. Andropause usually occurs after age of 40 because after 40, testosterone level decreases 1 to 2 percent every year. First and most common symptom of decrease in testosterone and uh, most important symptom of andropause is decreased libido. It's a very prominent symptom for men and usually it's first sign of andropause. Sometimes it starts after age of 30, but it's rare cases. Most cases it starts after age of 40. Decreased libido is not only caused by uh, decrease in testosterone level, but also because of stress and depression. And also decrease in libido is associated with erectile dysfunction. And erectile dysfunction happens because of low testosterone level. Low testosterone level causes low nitric oxide level, which is important for erectile function. And it affects men population after age of 40, around 40% and 70% after age of 70. So it's extremely common symptom an extremely important symptom for men and it causes many psychological problems also. Another important sign of andropause is decrease in energy and fatigue. Why it happens? It happens because low testosterone level causes low mitochondrial activity and mitochondria is powerhouse for our body. It produces energy and when testosterone um, the level is decreased, energy production in mitochondria is decreased and person feels tired, fatigued and low in energy. Especially it's more prominent among older ages and among older um, men. It's not common in age of 40 for example, it's more common after 60. So it's highly correlated with age. Third most important sign is mood swings, irritability, depression and decreased motivation and why it happens. It happens because testosterone is dead and go hormone. What means? It means that it affects brain and it changes many neurotransmitters. It increases dopamine. Dopamine is reward and motivational neurotransmitter. So, Low testosterone means low dopamine and low dopamine means low motivation. Uh, low testosterone means low serotonin. Serotonin is calming and well-being neurotransmitter and when there is low serotonin, person has depression. Norepinephrine is another neurotransmitter. It is for in, important for focus and attention and Low uh, testosterone means low norepinephrine and it means low focus and low attention and opioid system also affected. Opioid system is responsible on well-being. So low testosterone causes mood swings, causes depression, causes irritability and this everything uh, importantly affects quality of life of person. Another sign is losing muscle mass. Uh, muscle mass losing is more prominent after age of 50 and because after this age person loses around 1 to 2% of uh, 
body muscle mass every year so muscle mass lose is very important sign also because testosterone is key for maintaining and for growth of muscles and fifth sign is weight gain and belly fat increased belly fat it happens because testosterone and estrogen ratio is decreased testosterone level is decreased but estrogen levels uh, stays relatively high or sometimes increase that's why person uh, gains weight uh, because uh, testosterone is responsible on building muscles and uh, burning fats and when testosterone level is low and estrogen levels are high person is tend to increase body weight and especially belly fat belly fat increases that's why most men in um, after 40 has belly it's very common um, and it's important to note that um, andropause is also called as late onset hypogonadism uh, and when uh, we diagnose late onset hypogonadism or um, andropause when total testosterone is less than 300 nanogram per deciliter so we should have symptoms above mentioned symptoms and we should have total testosterone decreased uh, less than 300 nanograms uh, per deciliter in two different measurements in fasting uh, condition now let's say how we can increase testosterone level uh, first and most common treatment uh, method is testosterone replacement therapy and we have different types of testosterone such as gels, patches, intradermal testosterone and injections. Injections in many cases are preferable because it's administered uh, every one or two weeks and it's effective, it's long lasting and it has um, many benefits but it's not comfortable if if you inject uh, girls are a applied to the shoulders arms and abdomen uh, and patches applied on skin also intradermal testosterone is difficult to control if there is any side effects because it releases small amount of testosterone and it is placed intradermal and uh, testosterone therapy has its effects side effects uh, and that's why it's problem because it's not for all it carries risk of prostate cancer sleep apnea and heart disease and that's why we should be careful and we should scale risk and management when we thinking about testosterone replacement therapy and um, what about oral testosterone oral testosterone is not common because there is absorption problems and also it has liver toxicity that's why oral testosterone is not common and is not common practice another proven method which can increase testosterone level is aerobic and anaerobic exercises especially anaerobic exercise and anaerobic exercise can increase testosterone level around 20 percent it's very important effect of um, anaerobic exercise and if person regularly exercise uh, his testosterone level is increased long time period but if person is not exercising regularly uh, testosterone elevation is very temporary another method and another um, uh, another medication is supplement actually is uh, DHEA dehydro and epiandrosterone uh, it also increases testosterone level uh, up to 20 percent in some cases uh, this increase of testosterone is minimal but sometimes it's very effective and daily dosage is 25 to 50 uh, milligrams per day and it's considered safe to intake for several weeks up to several months and what's main limitation of it main limitation is acne hair loss liver toxicity so it has many adverse effects that's why here also there is important risk and benefit consideration and also <clears throat> a doping agency uh, it's considered as a doping so 
it's it's not allowed in sportsmen and athletes uh, another supplement is zinc and vitamin d both of them can increase testosterone level especially if person is deficiency uh, in these supplements zinc and vitamin d both of them are important for testosterone synthesis that's why uh, zinc dosage usually is 25 to 40 milligrams per day and vitamin d is from 1000 to 4000 4, 4, um, international unit daily uh, so excess zinc is not good because it can uh, decrease absorption of um, other minerals and it can, it can decrease uh, immune system function uh, and in case of vitamin d it's possible to intake vitamin d for a prolonged period of time is considered safe in um, daily normal ranges of course so <clears throat> another supplement is fenugreek um, it's supplement which also increases uh, testosterone level around uh, 15 to 20 percent and daily dosage is 300 to 500 milligrams per day and about safety is considered safe uh, up to 12 weeks from 6 to 12 weeks it's considered safe and it's also a popular supplement and another popular supplement for testosterone boost is ashwagandha also it's also in taken uh, 300 to 500 milligram per day with meal uh, and but it has drug interaction it's important because uh, it can interact thyroid gland and increase function of thyroid gland it can interact and increase uh, action of sedatives or blood sinners that's why we should be careful to intake ashwagandha that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now